Hello children. Today we are going to, I am going to teach the topic electric flux from chapter 1 electric charge and fields. What is electric flux? Electric flux means number of electric field lines passing through given area perpendicularly. For example, one element given and a delta A is the area of this element kept in the uniform electric field. Electric field lines passing through given surface perpendicularly. Here, the number of lines passing through given surface perpendicularly is called a flux and this flux can be calculated with the formula delta phi equal to E multiply delta S. Here, E vector, delta S vector both are parallel. See this figure. This direction of E vector, this one direction of delta S vector, both are parallel. In this case, electric flux equal to E delta S. Suppose electric field and area vector not parallel. See this figure. Electric field is goes this direction and area vector goes this direction. In this case, how to find the electric flux? Here electric flux equal to you take component of electric field that is E cos theta and delta S. Therefore, E cos delta S can be written in terms of dot product E vector dot delta S. This is nothing but a general form of electric flux. So electric flux equal to E vector dot delta S vector. Next one, what is the unit for electric flux? So you know unit for electric field equal to Newton per coulomb. Area is nothing but a meter square. Therefore, Newton meet, meter and meter, we can write this way, divided by coulomb. And Newton meter is be joule. So joule per coulomb meter. Joule per coulomb nothing but volt meter, we can write this way. And you can use two unit for electric flux in the SI system. One we can write Newton per coulomb, meter square or volt meter both can be we can write. Next one and uh, Gauss theorem. What is Gauss theorem? Here you see one surface you have taken here, one sphere, one sphere you have taken and enclosing a charge Q charge at the center of the sphere. One charge is here, one surface is imagined one. Sphere imagined with radius smaller than indicate. And this surface divided into small, small segment. And here one of the segment is shown in the figure. And ds vector is the area of the segment. And electric field is the direction electric field is shown in the figure. In this case, for this segment, e vector, dx vector, both are parallel. Therefore, flux linked the surface is equal to d phi equal to e vector dot dx vector. It is the flux linked with the one segment. Suppose I want to find the flux linked with the whole surface. I normally will go for the integrations. Therefore, phi equal to integration of closed surface E dS. And this closed surface is called a Gaussian surface. Therefore, phi equal to E taken out, here out, integration dS. And E means electric field at the given point over the surface of the sphere, E equal to KQ upon R square. K is nothing but 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0. And integration of dE is nothing but A, 4 pi R square. Here, taking the point K equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0, and cancel that one, you will get finally Q upon epsilon 0 will get it. So, what is the meaning of this equation? The equation 
pi equal to q upon epsilon zero is known as Gauss theorem. And this is what? If any surface enclosing its charge, then total flux linked with the surface, the surface called Gaussian surface, which is equal to q times of 1 upon epsilon zero. And this statement is called a Gauss theorem, which is known as Gauss theorem. I repeat once again, what is Gauss theorem? The equation phi equal to q upon epsilon zero is known as Gauss theorem. It says that any Gaussian surface enclosing the charge q, the flux linked with the Gaussian surface equal to q times of 1 upon epsilon zero. And this statement is called a Gauss theorem. And using the Gauss theorem, we can find the electric field and any point due to charge distributions.